when she's on Instagram live, someone needs to give her a cough drop or a lozenge or something because if you're the head of a fucking church, you should know fucking better. Like what the hell? <coughs> You can't be a big, big pastor and you're biting back when people want to share their opinion on social media. Like, it doesn't make any sense. You look like a fool. Everything up make sense soon. Make up and get and put it over the wall. What a guan, pal. What a guan. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. So, today I have a mukbang for you lot. I haven't eaten all day so that I can sit here and box off this food and just chat to you lot. You understand? So today I'm going to be talking about this whole SPAC Nation topic and I think it's something good to talk about. I haven't seen anyone like that is like practicing Christian or Christians with a big platform talk about this or talk about the stereotype that is put forth onto pastors. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe to the ting and thanks for the love every time. Before I get into this video, I got some banging food from Queen Wings. Queen Wings. She gave me sweet chili wings, a sugar waffle, macaroni and cheese, corn on the cob, and fried rice. And the way I'm about to box off this food, she also gave me one of these DNG grape sodas. I have not seen one of these drinks in so long. I don't think you don't understand, like this is a legendary drink. For those of you that do not know what SPAC Nation is, SPAC Nation is the name of a said to be successful church. Right now, SPAC Nation is currently under investigation for fraud, money laundering, and all types of things. And basically, there have been a few people that have come out and said that they have been put into debt because of the because of this church and because of the head pastor. I'm not going to discredit this church by saying that they haven't done anything for the kids and or the members of the church. It is fact that they have helped people come off the street and walk a new journey of life. However, I don't seem to understand where this fraud and 10,000 pound loans come into it. Now, when I first heard that, yeah, I immediately thought of Greenleaf. If you don't know what Greenleaf is, and it's stupid that I'm um, relating this to a series show, but these shows come from things that happen in real life. I can't seem to understand how you're picking kids up off the street and somehow asking them or persuading them to take out loans. I'm pretty sure you have enough common sense. You cannot be fooled by religion or fooled by um, a faith to think that everybody is genuine, is black, everybody is genuine. These whole fraud accusations always seem to come about and be surrounded by churches. But for this church, to come up on the news, it's red flags. It's red flags. I'm not gonna lie. Whenever I do like research um, SPAC Nation, I do see this TK guy pop up. And in the beginning, I did. In the beginning, I did feel bad, and I thought like, "Raw, like you've come off the roads and you're doing you're doing your thing in church." But then now it almost looks like because you got so much attention from that situation you're kind of dragging it out like it, it's dragging like there was a period of time where he was making instagram lives and banging out instagram lives talking about this one topic like come on and there's no way you was in the church for that significant length of time for you not to see anything dodgy and now that you've left the establishment you're not really doing anything you're not preaching a word, preaching a new word. You're not, like, I don't get what's going on. Oh my God, this tastes so good. Okay. This church is receiving these large amounts of money 
and it or what in your understatement it just says um gift 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 like it just doesn't make any sense it's not making any sense obviously this pastor has been in the game for years so he most probably knows his ways around making his income and making his offerings and making all these large amounts of money cut that that is coming in look legit now this mariam girl whatever her name is yeah the first time i saw her was um i think she was on like an instagram live and she made a comment about we need these kids to she said something that we need these children to start taking out loans or she said something along the lines i can't i will insert it just so that you lot can see yeah why are people not giving me seed why are people not giving me money so when does that hundred pounds that you've got left to do your hair there are still people that haven't taken out loans yet and i'm gonna go and find them i don't care what you say i'm gonna go and crush them how is it okay for you lot to be living off other people's money and living off money that you persuaded somebody else to fraudulent fraudulently get for you like it doesn't make any sense i can't respect it and the fact that you're putting you're putting you're using like christianity as a front for your bullshit like it doesn't make any sense and i'm not gonna lie someone actually messaged me saying that she's been in jail like multiple times like apparently she gave birth in jail like what like this is nuts like this is actually nuts when she's on instagram live someone needs to give her a cough drop or a lozenge or satin because she's losing her voice at this rate it's not a good look i even saw a video of her uh, i even saw a video of this married woman pulling off that x factor girl's wig on live yeah now nobody can tell me that this behavior is okay nobody can tell me oh do you think someone can have a chat for me and tell me oh pull down your pants on live as punishment and i want to go do it i know it's not the same but pulling off somebody's wig on on a fucking live camera and you, you're laughing about it do you think that could be me do you think that could be me are you fucking nuts oh you as a pastor and as a practicing nobody's saying that you're not human but you as a pastor that is representing your church or the church that you go to or the people that you preach to is on social media behaving like this no there's no way this can be normal behavior it doesn't make any sense at all <sighs> I've also been in the presence of these practicing Christians and some of you lot, yeah, I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna say this plain and simple. Some of you lot are on some fake shit and you can take, you can come and dun me in the comments. I don't care, but the, I'm not talking to everyone. I'm just saying there are some people, some practicing Christians that I have met in the past couple of months and y'all are on some bullshit. Your actions do not portray... <laughs> the, your actions do not portray what you are working towards. I feel like if you are a born again Christian or if you are in, in your faith like 100%, I feel like there's certain things that you shouldn't do. Like, and especially if you have a social media platform, there's certain things that you just should not do because you are a representation of the community that you're in because everybody society like to generalize they like to generalize everything so if one person does it that's that's how it is i'm not saying that that's right but that's how it is for that's how it is for um that's how it is at the moment if one person does something all y'all do it that's what that's what it is and um, it's a bit annoying but if you are one of the head, if you are the head of a fucking church, you should know fucking better. Like what the hell? <clears throat> you can't be a big big pastor and you're biting back when people want to share their opinion on social media. Like it doesn't make any sense. You look like a fool. Like what? What are you gaining from 
coming for people. I'm going to come back for you because people are sharing their opinion. You don't need to do better. I feel like the growth of this church, I feel like the growth of this Spac Nation church came through social media. Twitter, Instagram are the main reasons why this church has become so successful. And in that, in that, they're now using them to their best advantage. My experience with Christians, yeah, are, have been very interesting over the years. Now, the main religions that go out and kind of spread the word and share their faith are either Christian or Muslim. No, I don't want to compare, but I'm going to compare the two. Christians and Muslims, the difference between a, a, a Muslim preaching, I personally feel like majority of them are a lot more subtle. Whereas, um, whereas with Christians, I feel like they can be very, they can be very forceful. It can come across very forceful. And I know they might not be doing that intentionally, but like, if I, if I politely say that I'm not interested or I practice another faith, I let that be. If I was someone, a member of a church and I was going out and I'd like to spread the word, I would say stuff like, I hope you're having a good day. Would you like to have a conversation about religion, about Christ, Jesus? Like, I would respect somebody more if that's how they approached me. Nobody is a saint in this world, but I feel like there is a certain level of behaviour that you should conduct when it comes to being a pastor or being somebody that is meant to represent a church or any form of religion not only christians every single religion i'm glad that is money that these people are doing and it's not molestation or rape or any i'm glad it's only money but it's unfortunate that this is what greed is doing to people like greed is one serious drug you know like once you witness once you once you witness a large amount of like money or a large amount of a product whatever it is people get carried away and in this particular situation these pastors of spat nation are getting carried away i feel like people need to be careful I feel like people need to be careful of what environment they are going in and how they are being how they are entering this environment like what what are they being given what are they being told I feel like if you are going to start practicing a faith I think it's better to start at home visiting the Lord's home every Sunday does not necessarily mean that you are on the right track to heaven. It doesn't mean that you are better than anybody else. It doesn't mean that. I feel like church is a place to connect with other believers or other Christians. It's all in your faith. It's all within your heart. It's all, in, it's all within what you believe. In this lifetime, as much as Christianity is said to be pure there are some toxic people that use religion as a front to get whatever they want and to reach certain places i hope that whatever these allegations are not true but by the looks of it by the allegate by all the allegations that have been made public by all of the videos that I've seen on this exposure page by the response from this Mariam girl this um like I actually um I don't know at this point but 
I hope that those people that have gone and take out, taken out these loans and borrowed this amount of money, I hope that they are able to get that shit cleared because it's not fair, bruv. But there's nothing wrong with practicing your faith in your home. Your home is the safest place to start. And that is my take on this topic. <sighs> I'm so full. I just want to big up Queen Wings. I'm going to insert her um, Instagram up and I'm gonna put it in the description box. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the ting, and thank you for showing me love every time. What a guapa, what a guan. Peace.